Hello dear students, how are you? I hope you are doing good. In my previous video, I told you about calculus and we started in calculus with continuity. If you have not watched that video, you can find in the links or in the description box. Next in calculus is derivative. Derivative is in fact the most important topic in plus 2. So let's move directly to screen. Hello dear students. Today's topic is derivative. Before doing that, let's have as usual a motivational quote. Today's quote is Jiske saath shrisht vichar rehte hai, wo insaan kabhi akela nahi rehta. Haa, ye sach hai. Apne man mein achche vichar rakhiye, aap khud ko akela nahi paayenge. To, shuru karte hai, derivate. If y equal to fx is a function then y plus delta y is equal to f of x plus delta x delta y is equal to f x plus delta x minus f x dividing both sides by delta x we get f of x plus delta x minus f of x divided by delta x now what derivative is we take limit delta x approaching to 0 of f of x plus delta x minus fx by delta x if limit exists that is called derivative of a function repeating derivative of a function is if limit delta x approaches to 0 f of x plus delta x minus f of x divided by delta x exists it is called derivative of a function if y is a function x raised to n then its derivative is as by definition limit of f x plus delta x minus f of x by delta x as delta x approaching to 0 it is limit delta x approaches to 0 x plus delta x whole raised to n minus x raised to n by delta x we take limit delta x approaching to 0 opening it by binomial theorem x raised to n plus n c1 x raised to n minus 1 delta x plus n c2 x raised to n minus 2 delta x whole square plus so on up to n c n delta x raised to n minus x raised to n this x raised to n cancels both sides we left with n c1 that is n x raised to n minus 1 delta x plus n c2 x raised to n minus 2 delta x square plus so on delta x raised to n divided by delta x we take delta x common from all terms delta x n c 1 is n x raised to n minus 1 plus n c 2 x raised to n minus 2 delta x up to so on delta x raised to n minus 1 divided by delta x as limit delta x approaches to 0 limit delta x approaches to 0 delta x cancelled out we left with n x raised to n minus 1 plus n c 2 x raised to n minus 2 delta x raised to 1 plus n c 3 x raised to n minus 3 delta x cube up to so on last term is delta x raised to n minus 1 we take its limit delta x as 0 we left with only n x raised to n minus 1 
as all the terms get zero because limit delta x approaches to zero. We left with derivative of x raised to n equal to n x raised to n minus one. So remember derivative of x raised to n is equal to n x raised to n minus one. If y equal to x raised to four plus five x cube plus six x square plus seven x plus eight, its derivative is x raised to four. Its derivative is four x cube. 5x cube its derivative is 5 multiplied by 3x square 6x square its derivative is 6 into derivative of x cube that is 2x plus 7x its derivative is 7 into derivative of x that is 1 plus derivative of constant 8 is 0 the answer is 4x cube plus 15x square plus 12x plus 7. Next is derivative of a composite function f of g of x. Remember its derivative is derivative of f dash gx into derivative of gx. That is f dash g of x into g dash of x. With example, if y is 3x square plus 4x plus 1 whole raised to 5, its derivative is 5 3x square plus 4x plus 1 raised to 4 into derivative of the function that is 3x square plus 4x plus 1. 5 into 3x square plus 4x plus 1 whole raised to 4. 3 derivative of x square 2x 4 derivative of x is 1 constant 1 its derivative is 0 the answer is 5 into 3x square plus 4x plus 1 whole raised to 4 into 6x plus 4 next is derivative of product of two functions we call it as product rule it is function fx into derivative of function gx that is g dash x plus function gx into derivative of function fx that is f dash x. So derivative of product of two function is fx g dash x plus gx f dash x. Next is derivative of division of two functions that is called quotient rule. It is gx derivative of fx minus fx derivative of gx divided by gx whole square. Let us see with examples. If y is a function x square plus x multiplied by x plus 2, its derivative is first function into derivative of second function plus second function into derivative of first function. The first function is x square plus x derivative of second function x derivative is 1 2 derivative is 0 plus second function derivative of first that is x square derivative of x square is 2x plus x derivative of x is 1 which simplifies is to 3x square plus 6x plus 2 that is answered. Now division of two functions x plus 2 divided by x minus 3 its derivative is denominator derivative of numerator function minus numerator derivative of denominator function divided by denominator square denominator is x minus 3 derivative of numerator x derivative is 1 plus 2 derivative is 0 minus numerator is x plus 2 derivative of denominator x derivative is 1 
minus 3 derivative 0 divided by x minus 3 whole square which simplifies is to minus 5 by x minus 3 whole square derivative of quotient of two functions it was all about derivative i hope you learned it well the next is up to you you have to practice more and more for derivative if you have any questions or queries you may write in comment box i'll be back with solutions as early as possible thank you bye bye